In honor of Halloween, we want to do Egypt's three E's today to help you make more sales consistently, constantly, and every single day. I want 2021 to be the best year you've ever had. And I'm guessing you do too, and if that's true, I'd love to hear about it in comments below. I wanna walk through three E's that can make you a better salesperson. I train sales teams, individual salespeople all the time. And I've went over these three E's and they've made a massive impact. They've loved them, they've enjoyed them, and I wanna share them with you right now, okay? The first E for Egypt's three E's are especially for the three great pyramids of Giza. First one's enthusiasm. The first one is enthusiasm. And I wanna ask you right now to evaluate yourself and say, okay, how is your enthusiasm level when you're in a sales environment, when you're trying to close a deal, when you're trying to fact find, warm up, build, build, build rapport, and go through a sales process. What is your enthusiasm level? I want you to rate yourself, okay? I want you to pull out a pad, pin and I want you to I want you to score yourself and we're doing a little, gonna do a little quiz and test today okay the first one's enthusiasm on a scale of one to ten what is your enthusiasm level I would say mine is typically um, I would say I average probably an eight it can be better if I get up I work out I get my cold shower in I write down my goals then I've got a better chance of, of it actually being higher and some of you are like dude if my if, if yours is an eight then I'm like a freaking three all right well that's the point you got to get it up okay so 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 what is your enthusiasm level because you got to think about this when you're in a sales environment you are selling conviction you're selling passion you're selling certainty you're selling your confidence in what you're selling you're not actually selling a product or service you're selling more of you than you are actually a product you're selling more of you than you are a Medicare policy. You're selling more of you than a final expense policy, right? You're selling more of you than a home and auto policy. You, your enthusiasm is infectious. You guys watch a lot of these videos and people comment on my energy and everything else. Half, half people think I'm on drugs, right? Because my enthusiasm is solid. And I try to keep it that way. And it's just part of my personality because and I've always sold that way, but it helps you get sales that you wouldn't normally get. And that's the point is you want to get sales right now that you're not currently getting in these three E's, especially the bonus E, for those that stick around to the end, are going to do exactly that. The first one's enthusiasm. Your enthusiasm matters, okay? If, you're, if your enthusiasm is infectious, you got a better chance of closing the deal. And who doesn't want to close the deal, right? Second E, second E. Enthusiasm, I'm, I'm ready for the last one. I love the last one. The second one's engagement. This one's extremely important. I want you to evaluate yourself one to 10 on engagement. You've got to keep someone engaged. The momentum has got to be leading from the opening to the close, okay? How do you keep someone engaged? Most people, here's a few things that most people do that actually affect engagement in a negative way. A lot of people in a sales situation, they talk too much or they don't ask questions when they should be asking questions, right? Or they think that if I talk more than the prospect, that I'm in control, right? Eh, you need to talk less. The point is I'm asking questions and you need to speak, you need to have short, specific, direct questions that are open-ended that get someone to talk, right? You need to have trial closes throughout. If you guys have ever seen my presentation, I've got 10, 10 different trial closes to increase engagement. I've got a pre-close, I've got a certain closing question, even my referral process that I'm gonna go over on in my boot camp December 12th, if you don't know what I'm talking about, call in and, and, and get signed up for that, is specifically, I've got a five-step referral process that's several questions to guarantee that I get one referral in every home. Wouldn't you like to know that? Okay, how's your engagement on a scale of one to 10? I would say mine is typically Probably about an eight again, maybe a nine, maybe a nine at times. I'm pretty good at staying, keeping, pe keeping people engaged. How, how do you do that when you're on a virtual Zoom appointment, right? You focus, you lean forward, you smile, right? You act like you care, you act like you give a crap, right? Engagement is key because I'm telling you, at any point, you start to lose their focus, you start to lose engagement, you start to lose them entirely, right? That's why when, when we do these things we do, we set it up the way we do because we wanna keep you engaged. Like when you have a, 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 an office full of team members and everybody's you know coming in dressed in Halloween costumes, it helps the culture, it helps the engagement. Delivering pizza for the whole team and doing a Halloween contest and seeing if 
you know, the freaking hazmat suit or the Harry Potter person wins, right? That's part of the engagement of the office. When you're in the middle of a cell, your engagement matters. It's important and you got to keep people in the game, right? It's a game. I, I, I view sales as a competition. I view sales as a game. And if I don't keep them engaged, I'm going to struggle to close the freaking deal. And that's the point. You don't go to sales appointments virtually or in home for any other reason than to make a sell. And the moment that you walk in not actually certain that you're going to make a sell, the less likely are you that you're going to make that sell. The whole purpose is to close a freaking deal or it's a waste of time to do it to begin with, right? Engagement. The third one is empathy. The third one is empathy. Zig Ziglar always says, right, that they don't know how much you care until you show them, right? I want you to show them how much you care. And you do that by asking about them. I was on a Zoom the other day and I, and, and I was talking to a lady and I told her, hey, what have you noticed? She's like, you're all, you're, you're, you're talking about me, right? I told, I, I, I mentioned this before um, on people's favorite radio stations, WIIFM, what's in it for me? W-I-I-F-M, what's in it for me? I want you to cater this appointment to them the whole time. Build the relationship, the rapport, the empathy has got to be there because you got to care, you got to care about the relationship, you got to care, build the rapport because the relationship is not there. And they don't, because what it does is it builds no like and trust. That empathy piece builds no like and trust. And if they don't know that you care, if they don't, or, or know you, or you don't know them, or they don't like you, guess what? They're not going to trust you. If they don't know like know you, like you, trust you, they're not going to do business with you. The empathy piece matters. I know a lot of people don't want to open up. They don't want to share stuff that's happened in their life. They don't want to share their story. They don't want to listen. They don't like to listen, etc. And I'm not the world great, I'm not the, the, the world's greatest listener, but I'm in the middle of a cell. I am one of the world's best listeners because I care, because I care about doing business with them, because I care about them as a person. And I know that the relationship piece matters. And if I get the relationship right, I've got a better chance of making the sale. Empathy is extremely important. One to 10 on empathy. I would say I probably come across at about a nine on this one. I would say of these three, I'm probably the best at this one, frankly. And I'm freaking solid at these, but I'm better at this one because as a new agent, back when I was 20 years old, and I'm thinking, how am I going to walk in and literally ask someone for tens of thousands of dollars over the course of their life for this random insurance policy that they, it, from this random dude that just knocked on their door. How am I going to accomplish that? Empathy. I was so good at building, I was really good at three things as a brand new agent. I was good at building the relationship. I was good at overcoming ridiculous objections and I was good at getting them to do business with me now, today, in closed deals. Those are three things that if you can become a master of, holy freak, it's gonna change your whole business. Empathy is super important, super valuable. On a scale of one to 10, where do you currently sit? Now, for the bonus E, for those that stuck around, way to go, okay? The bonus E is effort. Because without enthusiasm, without engagement, without empathy, without effort, it does, nothing happens. It does not matter. Most 92% of interest agents fail because of effort. Right? I was talking to an agency owner this morning and, and, and he was like, man, we have one of the best opportunities in the world. It's incredible. Everything's good, right? But, but, but I'm, I'm concerned that we're going to hire a lot of people that are going to fail. And I'm like, dude, that's just part of the freaking equation. People are going to fail because they don't, you can't want it more than they do. I can't want it more than you do. You got to want it for yourself more than anybody else does. A lot of people's effort is off. A lot of people are lazy. A lot of people aren't focused. A lot of people won't put in the work. A lot of people won't show up day in and day out and try to be the best them that they can be. That's where effort comes in. That's where focus comes in. I need you to put forth the effort to win. My challenge to you is for the rest of 2020, for, and for all of 2021, is that your effort is right. Your effort is on point and that you care enough to succeed for your family and for you forever, that your effort is on point. Egypt three E's, the bonus E, go freaking get it. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're gonna love. It's right there, click on it, see you in there. You're a new agent, you wanna make 10K your first month, okay? I made just over nine grand my very first month as an insurance agent. I wasn't 10, but I'm gonna tell you exactly what I did to make nine. Who's watching thinking, dude, I'd love to make nine? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do better than I did, specifically how to get in front of people 